What's going on everybody? This is More Power 35 here. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are having a powerful day, today what I got for you guys is a video from Infinite Warfare. And I know I haven't done an Infinite Warfare video in a really long time. It's just because it's kind of gotten a little bit stale to me and I just I haven't found a reason to actually play it lately. But um, with the addition of Tactical Team Deathmatch in Infinite Warfare, I decided to hop on, get some gameplay for you guys, just to show you what boots on the ground would look like in a future Call of Duty. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on into it. guys we're back with some tactical tdm <clears throat> and i just failed <laughs> epically i thought we were i keep forgetting there's no boost jumping i mean there is a uh, wall running and sliding but that's that's okay i've played this game mode a couple of times today just to get a good feel for it Ooh, and that guy has no idea where the heck he's going i'm using my nv4 for this, um, just because I kind of want that tactical nuke. Why are you staring at walls, bruh? That's not how you win. Ooh, and you just, you just chill in there. Oh, no, he actually walked over there. Hmm. Okay. Homie took care of him. Really? Really, bruh? Thought I killed him. Now, my thoughts on Tactical TDM is I really love this game mode. I really do, even though I am 2 and 5 right now. Um, I love this game mode. Um, one thing that I would say to Activision or Infinity Ward is keep it. Please, for the love of all things good for Call of Duty, please keep this game mode. And if we're going to have futuristic boost jumping stuff in the future add this game mode to any other call of duty title heck i would even be okay with treyarch adding a tactical mode to black ops 3 as like a little mini patch you know because this makes the game play so much differently and it's just you you get what you want from boots on the ground although it does have sliding and it does have wall running it doesn't have the boosting which i am totally okay with and another thing that they could do to add and tweak to this game mode is add different actual game modes into the rotation not just tdm make a tactical free for all make a tactical domination most importantly make a tactical search and destroy That would be great for Call of Duty is to have a tactical search and destroy. I think the pros would die to get tactical search and destroy. We're, we were 23 kills away from a deatomizer, but that's not what we're going for today, boys. Today, we are going for just a good, decent gameplay with tactical DDM. Because I like this game a lot. And I would love to see how Search and Destroy would be with this on this game. I think this could, I don't think this is going to save Infinite Warfare, but it's, it's going to help the life cycle if they decide to keep said game mode around permanently. Because I've been hearing things that it's only going to be around temporarily. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our Shock Sentry right here. And we are going to go chill in here. UAV, up and they got that advanced UAV going. Alright. Enough talking. Let's get to... Let's get our... We'll get our UAV going as soon as this advanced one goes, goes away. Really? Okay. 
The variants I'm okay with, just simply because of the, the good variants you can get out of, uh, out of crafting, which is what I'm totally okay with. And that's why I'm okay with all this stuff being in Modern Warfare Remastered, because it's only cosmetics for Modern Warfare. And there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Pick up that gun that disappeared. Uh, that not pick up that guy but yeah guys so hopefully they can keep this around because I, I really like this game mode and I've heard a lot of really good things from other youtubers and other pro players about tactical TDM and it would be nice if they added uh, if they didn't do a tactical SMD if they could add it to competitive shock sentry because that would be that would be great to have that in competitive. I think the pro players would like that a lot. Enemy UAV in your vicinity. Oh dang! What is going on here? I wonder if I can get up on this car. If I can. No, I can't. Okay. Get off me, son. We ain't having none of that, but I think this is a step in the right direction, and I think this should this should be something if we continue with boost jumping and everything in the next Call of Duty that they should continue to implement into future Call of Duties. I'm gonna go ahead and use my scarab. Oh. He destroyed my, my scarab, so I'll kill him. Aww. The one thing that I feel like the MV4 doesn't have is it doesn't have very good damage. Because, like, I feel like it's taking me, like, five shots to kill people. But I guess you could use the K-Bar to balance that out. But this guy's dropping me, so I mean, I'm probably just thinking too much, but hopefully Activision listens to its community and keeps Tactical TDM. And maybe adds some more game modes. Even if they just added two or three and made it just a playlist, that would be great. And I think the community would adore Activision for doing it. Because Activision needs to get back, get the community back. I think they, they're, they've kind of lost the community a little bit with everything that they've been doing the last few, few years of Call of Duty. Now, I understand Black Ops 3 was a lot better than Advanced Warfare and Ghost and things of that nature, but I don't know. I feel like they've lost the community with Infinite Warfare because people, they just, they don't like the boost jumping and they don't want it to be so super far in time and like in space. Because realistically, when are we going to go to, when are we going to go to war in space? I know the Infinity War tweets out all the time from like these army generals or whatnot saying that it's not too far off, but I really doubt that. I don't see the United States going to war in space because we don't have the technology to do that. You know, but that's just my thoughts on that. But I love this game mode. I think it's or a step in the right direction. They can improve on it by adding other types of game modes and making it a playlist instead of only having TDM make tactical s &D, make a tactical playlist where you have S&D, you have TDM, you have free for all. Not every game mode, but give something for the people who like boots on the ground. Plain and simple. And I know they did that with uh, COD 4 Remastered, but you know, give them this kind of setting, boots on the ground. And even if you only limit the, the maps and the rotation, I'd be okay with that. 
like doing terminal let terminal be its own map in that because I I hardly ever get to play terminal nowadays pick up this Volk shut down that plate that payload all right guys so that's gonna do it for our tactical team deathmatch uh, video so if you enjoyed the video Smash that like button, guys. Leave me comments in the comment section what you guys think of this game mode. If you think they should add, uh, like, Search and Destroy, Free For All, Domination, things like that. Make it a playlist. Let me know that in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Um, and as always, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next video.